Vampire Killer by Paul Shipton This is Colin Miller. He wants a job. Are you here for the job? Yes. Why are you laughing? We are all here for the job. It is not easy. Sorry, there are no jobs. I'm sorry, there is no work here. No, sorry. Wait a minute. What's this? Do you need a job? Must be strong, fast and brave. Telephone. Professor Marcus Fletcher at 555-8621. I'm strong, fast, and brave. I can do this job. Uh, hello, I'm calling about the job. Come to 58 Bottle Road. I can come tomorrow. Tomorrow is no good. You must come now. But... 20 minutes later. Ding dong. Yes? What do you want? Professor Fletcher? I'm Colin Miller. Come in. Sit down. Why do you want this job? I need money. There aren't any jobs in this town. The professor asks lots of questions. How old are you? Eighteen. Are you a fast runner? Well, I play football every week. Are you strong and brave? Well, yes, I think I am. Do you like horror films? They're okay. Why? Are you making a horror film? Do you believe in ghosts? What? What is this job? Then Fletcher asks the important question. Do you believe in vampires? Vampires? Oh dear, this is no good. It's late, sorry, I must go now, I... Wait. You need a job and you need money. But what is the job? I am a vampire killer. I find vampires and I kill them. And now I need help. Vampires? Are you talking about Dracula? Dracula is a book. But this is true. There is a vampire here in your town. I must find it and kill it tonight or... Meet me near the supermarket at midnight. Colin looks at the money in Fletcher's hand for a long time. It is a lot of money, but... Then? Good. See you at midnight. Okay. It's dark and cold in the street now. Excuse me. My name's Claudia. I'm here for the job. Be careful. He's crazy. He's a vampire killer. <laughs> Vampires? Wonderful. Are you working for him? Yes, but this isn't a joke. Okay, um, but I'm interested. Perhaps he wants another helper? Colin is tired, but he doesn't want to go home. Perhaps one little drink. Two pounds, please. I've got no more money now. Two of Colin's friends are in the pub. Hi, Colin. Have you got a job now? Oh, yes. What do you do? I'm a vampire killer. They stop laughing after about ten minutes. Come here and give me a kiss. 
Go away. Hey, where are you going? The supermarket. But the supermarket's closed. Oh no, my watch is slow. I'm late. Professor Fletcher is not at the supermarket, but someone is waiting there. Hello again. It's you. You are working for the professor, too. Tell me something, Colin. Do you believe in vampires? Now, do you? They both laugh. Just then they hear a noise. You are here. Good. Are you ready? Oh, yes. Here, take these. Let's go. Where are we going? We're looking for this man. Claudia is laughing. Colin smiles, too. Is he the uh, vampire? No. This man works for the vampire. Ah? Uh, that's a good job. Does he get a lot of money? The professor doesn't answer Claudia's question. His name's Renfeld, and I know where he lives. They run through the dark streets. This is the street. We can wait here. So they wait and wait. Claudia and Colin talk quietly. Tell me about yourself, Colin. How old are you? I'm 18, and you? Mm, I'm older than you. She has nice smile. She has beautiful eyes, too. Don't be stupid, Colin. Ask her. Claudia, would you like to go out with me tomorrow afternoon? Thanks, Colin, but I can't. Oh, that's okay. It doesn't matter. Sorry. I can't meet you in the afternoon, but I can meet you tomorrow night. Wonderful. Where do you live? That's okay, Colin. I can find you. Just then they hear a noise. What's that? Shush! A man comes out of the house. It is Renfield. Colin is suddenly afraid. Is Fletcher's story true? Quick! Catch him! Stop! Renfield begins to run. But Fletcher and Colin are faster. I've got you! This isn't a joke now. Where is it? Where is the vampire? Professor, stop. Let's call the police. Tell us. Never, Fletcher. He knows the professor? Tell him. Where does the vampire live? Renfield is quiet for a minute. Then... 26 Moon Street. Number 16. Do you know that street? I do. Quick, there isn't much time. What about Renfield? Shall I call the police? No, leave him. We must be quick. We can go in my car. It's near here. Renfield begins to laugh. Good luck, Fletcher. You need it. <laughs> Five minutes later. Claudia, listen, I'm afraid. Fletcher's crazy. Renfield is crazy too, I think. Let's run away now. No, Colin, I want to know. Is the professor's story true? She gets in the car. I can't leave her with the professor. Colin gets in too. The professor drives fast. What time is it? Five o'clock, I think, but my watch is slow. Left, here. Come on. Claudia, take the fire escape. Colin, come with me. Colin goes upstairs with Fletcher. 
I can't believe this. Here it is, number 16. One, two, three, now! Boom! They run in, but there is nobody here. Look in the other rooms. Colin goes to the bedroom. This is crazy. A vampire can't live here. What's this? Suddenly. Come here, Colin. Then Claudia smiles. Take those joke teeth out, Claudia. This isn't the time for jokes. It isn't a joke, Colin. You? You live here? That's right, I do. And Ranfield? Ranfield works for me. Suddenly Colin remembers. Where is Professor Fletcher? Professor, help! Ouch! Professor Fletcher, get up! Oh dear, oh dear! That's okay, Colin. You don't need to be afraid. She looks at his neck. Are you hungry now, Colin? I am. I am hungry for blood. Are these the last minutes of my life? Wait, tell me something. Why? Why are you doing this? The vampire stops. Why not? Everybody needs to eat and drink. I look at you, Colin, and I see food. Colin closes his eyes and waits to die. Nothing happens. The sun! Vampires can't be in the sun! It can kill them! The sun's coming up! But it's too early! Oh no! Your watch is slow! She runs into the next room. What now? Go into the room? Kill Claudia? Can I do it? No. Come on. I'm sorry, Professor. What? Where am I? Thank you, son. Colin is at home all day. I can't call the police. The professor is in hospital, I think. What can I do? Everything needs to eat and drink. I understand. But is the fly very happy about that? Claudia can always find me, she says. Perhaps next week. Perhaps tonight. Mm -hmm.